Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing the closet confidential tag, so let's just move into it because I have school today and I don't want to be late. First question, what is the oldest item in your closet? So I thought long and hard about this and I think that by far the oldest item in my closet is this shirt from Urban Outfitters. <laughs> so I got this shirt when I was a sophomore in high school on sale at Urban Outfitters. I think it was like 10 bucks. Uh, I rarely wear it now, but for some reason I still have it just because, whatever, it's a cute tank top. You never know when you're going to need a little spaghetti strap thing. And so, yeah. My newest item. This isn't super exciting because I really have it gone shopping that much, but they're definitely these little like Forever 21 rings. So this is just like little mini rings with kind of a rope design. And then I showed you guys this one in my April favorite. So just little leaf mini ring. And then the arrow one I showed in my April favorites is also new, but I couldn't find it right now. So, oh well. So third question, my most expensive item. So granted, Full price, this is my most expensive item, but I got it like probably like 50% off at an outlet because although I like nice things, I also, <laughs> you know, I'm a, I'm a little on the poor side, so I like to buy nice things, but I like to get really good deals on them. So it's just this um, Marc Jacobs bag. Well, it's marked by Marc Jacobs, so it's a little different. But yeah, I love this thing. It's so beautiful. The only issue I have is that it's lambskin. And so, um, it's super delicate and like the leather scratches really easily. So it's like kind of getting beat up and I don't know what to do about it because I've tried Googling it and they're just like, oh, just send it into a professional. And I'm like, well, where do I find one of those? <laughs> I don't know. The fourth question is, what is your cheapest or like most affordable item? And I'm going to go ahead and just say Forever 21 leggings because seriously, they're like, what, five, six dollars? You can't go wrong with them as long as they're not see-through, they're amazing. And while we're on the Forever 21 train, I honestly think that so much of Forever 21's basics, like their basic like $3 shirts and whatever, um, are such good deals. But what was the biggest bargain? I had to think long and hard about this, and I think it's my patent leather Doc Martens. So, the story behind this is that um, last, like, the most recent Christmas, my boyfriend and I were at Nordstrom Rack, and the way we decided to do Christmas presents was kind of like we just went shopping together, and then, you know, we picked stuff out with a certain amount of, like, budget, and then we just wrapped them up and gave it to each other, just because we're both really picky, and we kind of have, like, different senses of style, so we just thought it was the easiest, like, the easiest thing we could do, so, um... We're in Nordstrom Rack, and I'm looking at the shoes, and I'm like, oh, I don't find anything. And then in the kids section, which is weird because I don't, I don't think these are like kids shoes. Um, they're my size. <laughs> so in the kids section, I see these like shoved away. It looked like someone had tried to hide them. And I think what happened was that they were like a return that someone brought back. But I mean, they didn't look worn at all. So I got these for like forty dollars, and that's like. 60-70% off of like full price so stoked and breaking these in are a total nightmare but we're getting there <laughs> okay so question number six what's the biggest waste of money okay I hope no one's gonna kill me that I say this but honestly all my Jeffrey Campbell shoes <laughs> I'm just showing my black Lita's. I have, well not all of them actually, because there's one I wear often. But, okay, I have black Lita's, taupe Lita's, black 99 tie, uh, red tardy lows, the train clog thing, I don't know. Um, and then I also have, like, a little, anyways, okay, so I have, like, another two pairs. But most of my Jeffrey Campbell shoes, just because... They're so impractical to like wear on an everyday basis and so I just I just find that now I'm really not getting very much use out of it. Some of my shoes, like two pairs of my shoes are really not that comfortable. Like the 99 tie heels, um, I have a Target pair that's like really similar um, and the Target pair is more comfortable than the Jeffrey Campbell one. So I was like alright this, this feels a little bit like a waste of money so yeah. This is the bonus question. My three favorite items right now 
number one, just high-waisted black jeans. Skinny leg jeans, boring, but seriously, you can do so much with them, and um, I didn't include these because I thought with my April favorites it would be redundant, but crop tops, so I like wearing crop tops with my high-waisted jeans. Next item is this black leather jacket. And I wouldn't say even this one specifically, although I do love it. Um, I just love moto lapels, and so I have a few jackets where they do have that awesome moto lapel, and um, definitely a favorite of mine because I feel like it kind of, you know, adds a little bit of like an edgier, I almost said edgier edge. <laughs> it adds a little bit of just like an edgier vibe to your outfit, and I really enjoy that. I like looking like a badass. And the last favorite item of the moment are just these cutout booties. And once again, like with everything else I just showed, I don't mean specifically these because I have a few different pairs of cutout booties, but I just, as a whole, I've just been loving them. And for like spring and summer, they're so cute. And I especially love these though because they have a pointed toe, which is really slimming and elongating for your legs, especially because I'm 5'1". So I can take any perception of being taller that I can get. I hope you guys enjoyed that, and um, yeah, I'll have a new video out for you guys soon, and hope you all have a good week. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe, and there will be more coming. Okay, bye guys!